G'day guys, Craig here. Welcome to another episode of Raised Rails. And today we thought we might show you uh, a little bit of a quick one. Um, we're going to make some trees. Uh, how to make your own trees. And uh, it's pretty simple. So we start with, I mean, wandering around the backyard. And we've found some trees like these and um, so what I do is I just um, I'm looking for the tops of the trees usually the top parts of the trees and even flower buds and things like that just just walk around your yard or even go down to the park if you haven't got any around your yard um, and try and find trees that look like that now that was the top of a flower uh, uh, where the flowers were going to come out and before they come out, they're very small buds, and I picked them off the top of the tree and let them dry a little bit. Uh, so that was a bit green, and otherwise I've got others around here like this one, which was also a dead flower bud. And this one has just been painted because it's a very tight uh, structure. And so that one we painted, we don't need to do any flocking on that one. But these other ones I'm going to show you today how to do flocking. So pretty straightforward. This one we will just dip into some paint and bring it out and let it dry. And that's how you make it look like a cypress. But that's actually, like I said, a flower bud of a budlier tree, in fact. Um, which is our flower, butterfly flower tree, actually. And this one was out the front of our house. It's not even ours off the council trees at the front, which is fine. And... Um, Again, a flower bud that hadn't come, hasn't come out yet. So we've used that one. Now I've put a little bit of blue tack on the bottom so we've made a base and it sits on a bread tie, one of those plastic bread ties to make a base. So this one's just sitting. Otherwise we'll drill some holes in our board and put them straight in. You wouldn't need the blue tack, put them in the hole and glue them, which I'm gonna do as well. Um, but I've made a few like this to, so we can move them around the board. And also for our uh, work we're going to do today, once we've got all the flocking on and we're going to dry, we'll have a stand so they can stand up and dry. Otherwise you would stick them into a mesh or something sideways and let them dry. So make sure you've got a mesh that you can stick the sticks in to let them sit. We don't need that today because we've got the stands on. So we'll get on with the job. We're going to use this, uh, what they call foliage, as a Woodlands product from your train shop um, and it's designed to do trees and things so I'll show you how that goes now we're using also a calendar this is a pretty standard flower calendar but we don't have the the little shaker thing in the bottom which moves to sift the flower we've taken that part out so you just need like uh, even a, um, a strainer would work um, so we're going to use one of these and the first thing we do is pop it into the paint make sure your paints are all stirred up first so you get it all nice good color into there like that make sure the whole thing's covered in paint I'm using brown paint so that I get uh, I get a brown stem with the green leaves so I'll just pour put all the leaves in there and we'll call this the leaves and I've got a tray here for my recovery so just drip off there and hold that over the tray and sprinkle through the bottom if you can see what's going on and we'll just keep moving it around till all the branches are covered with the leaves. The Woodland Scenics uh, foliage, as they call it. So it just takes a little bit of time. So the longer you do this, the more foliage you get on your tree. So it's up to you how thick you want it. And in fact, if you appreciate, you could use these trees without putting the foliage on and they'd be in a winter mode with no leaves, okay? So if you're doing a winter setting, you wouldn't do this. You just, just dip them in the paint and that's all you'd need to do. When you dip them in the paint, it also helps preserve the wood. 
because I appreciate this is natural wood, it's not plastic. And by dipping them in the acrylic paint, you're actually causing a plastic coating over the whole lot, which would mean they would almost pretty much last forever, really. Okay, so here we've got our branches on there now, our leaves. You can have a look. It's a pretty nice job, that. Okay. So we'll do another one. Just so you see again. Oops, that's okay. Now, this paint tin's almost too small. Make sure your paint tin's big enough to put the tree in. You might have to help it a little. That one, there we go, that's all you need. Drip the paint off a bit. And we'll make another one. Straight over onto the flocker. This is the poor man's flocking machine, okay? You can get flocking machines that involve uh, wires and uh, some electricity, up to 500 volts or something, more. Um, and a lot of people don't like those because they're high power. They are pretty safe. I understand how they work. We'll show you how they work another time. We're going to do some of that on the track um, maybe next time. And uh, it's a similar thing, but we're going to use electricity to make the uh, fibres stand up on their end through um, static electricity. But we'll show you that next time. This is a poor man's way, or a safe way, to use the flocking material without using the flocking machine, which some people don't have, right? Most people don't have a flocking machine. Okay. Okay, so that one's done, pretty much. Not as much covering on that one, but trees are different, all trees are different. And that's very nice, that's acceptable, okay? And um, that's it, there you go. So again, we showed you that one earlier, which we made. I've made a heap of them over here. And what we want to appreciate is also uh, these trees to buy in the hobby shop. Uh, like $5 upwards for each tree. $20 gets you a four pack. Um, and I think if we pan around over here onto the train set and we look around at how many trees we've actually made and we can add up how much money we've saved. To me, I reckon there's more than $200 worth of trees here. And I've just made another $10 worth here. So it's a very, very good way of saving money and making your trees. And you didn't have to go in the street. So it's real good. Okay, guys, that's all we've got for this week. Hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick one. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uru.